I used old school with and salt wash and just mix the two to a icing consistency and used an oval brush to stipple the mixture all together and it blended this so good. You Starting with your project flipped over really helps you to get in all the curves and things that you would miss normally. And then on my second coat, I flip it back upright. I will do another coat of a different color over this and then sand it back and all those chippy textures will sand off and show both colors. I almost passed this piece up. It was free just because it looked terrible. It has good bones obviously because some animal chewed the liver the liver the the living fire out of it but i went ahead and took it and i'm glad i did well i didn't take my facebook live video where i finished this and download it onto this i'm just going to tell you what i did because i mostly wanted to just show you how you can use texture to camouflage really bad spots on your piece but i took a palette knife and some diy crinoline and diy letterpress gray and i just chunked it on there and wiped it back even kind of scraped distressed it with the palette knife and then finished it with the diy clear wax to give it this look coming up i used some boards to do the same technique with the same colors the same salt wash but on this boards i used the clear wax and then i took the shipwreck wax and did the edges in the turquoise I am most active on Facebook, but I am releasing one video on YouTube once a week. I would love to have you like and subscribe and follow me over there. Look in the description box for links to get to these products and stay tuned for how to get more of these kind of looks.